March of um, 2014 was the beginning of um, trouble. Uh, she had gone five years and 11 months was stable. And um, the, the irony to that is that we were told that if she made it six years, they would think that she's a survivor. And so we were one month short of that. I don't believe that now anyway, but that's what we were told. Um, uh, when, so what they did was then they did um, a special um, type of radiation in uh, San Francisco that they don't do here. Now they might do it here now, I don't know, but they didn't do stereotactic, I believe it was. But anyway, where they zoomed in on the on this tumor that was starting to grow again. And then she went back on the Timadar and she and and for a year it was stable um, after that, after she went through all that again. Um, and then it came back with a vengeance and they said it was just taking over her brain and it was when it first started it was growing into the area of the brain the motor skills and going the opposite direction they could not biopsy it um, they couldn't get to it and so they said and then they also said in san francisco there's absolutely no reason to do this when it comes back it's almost always glial um, and it's moving so fast that it's, it didn't matter, but they did, they were sure it was glial that it had come back as that. So I'm assuming, and again, it doesn't really matter. Um, there was nothing they could do. Although Heather never quit. I'm, I'm not kidding you. After, um, when we went in in July of 2016, she was given, at that time, Dr. Chang said months. And I said, 11 months, two months. She said two months. So um, that was really, really, I, I can't even put into words how difficult that was. Oh, God, here I go again. Because we had to drive back, just Heather and I, we had to drive back to the airport, return the car, and... Um, sit and wait for three hours for our flight after hearing that she had two months. So I went to the Delta lounge and said, we gotta come in, I can't. And I told the lady, they were so kind and they let us come in and we sat in a corner. We said, we won't eat anything, <laughs> we won't drink anything, we won't, we just want a corner. Um, and she and I just sat there and I, 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 don't, I didn't even know what to say. Uh, and on the way home, it was the longest flight home ever, you know. Um, and at that point, Dr. Ching said, stop all treatment. And um, I offered Heather, I said, anywhere you want to go, anywhere you want to do, we'll do it. And she said, no, I just, I want to die at home with my family. So um, Heather then saw her oncologist here in Omaha and bless her heart, she listened to Heather. Heather said, I don't want to stop. I want to continue to fight. Um, and they tried her on um, a couple different, you know, CCN or whatever it is, I forget, but it, 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 it nothing worked. She tried the Optune. She tried um, immunotherapy. And we all knew it wasn't going to do anything. It was too far gone. But up until she went into the hospital in the 1st of November, um, she was trying. You know, she didn't want to give up. She kept thinking, well, maybe this stuff just isn't, hasn't had time to work. <laughs> you know, maybe. So, yes, it did. I'm sure it went to glio. We, we technically don't know because it, it couldn't be a biopsy.